you can reconstitute watercolor, which is a really great thing about watercolor, unlike oil or or uh, or acrylic. You know, once it's dry, it's done. You're you're sort of stuck with it. I mean, you can paint over those, uh, you know, with those. You you can paint over it with with other color because it's all pretty much opaque. But uh, um, and and with acrylics, acrylics are a little more versatile because you can you can do um, techniques uh, with acrylics that are very similar to watercolor. So I sort of changed the way I painted. I, I, I stopped doing those little uh, blobs. And oh, my point was, sometimes you couldn't get all that blob sort of spread out and you'd have this really weird little blob in the middle of something and that would that started annoying me as well um <laughs> so um there we go that's a speck of dust on your land yeah you yeah exactly you'd, you'd end up with this weird little little blob of something and and people are like well what's that and oh, well, i'm gonna turn that into a little bird or something you know it ended up being something like that um, which was fine. I, I didn't mind doing that, but um, uh, I'm going to throw a little bit of that Viridian green down in there because it's a little bluer. Um, uh, did I follow that? I didn't really follow that. Let's, um, I didn't really get that dark up there like I wanted. So, so I was like, okay, well, now that I kind of understand what I'm doing with this color, because, uh, you know, it was probably three or four years where I painted that way. Mm -hmm. um, now that I understand, oh, this is how the color, you know, this is how this works and that's how that works. Uh, then I started thinking, oh, well, now I understand that. I don't need to actually put blobs of paint on the paper. Um, it, you know, I kind of likened it to a, to a giant paint by numbers because I was throwing paint down or, or those those little paintings you'd get where you know it, it'd have the paint sort of on the paper already and you'd just yeah. move it around with a wet brush so once I just sort of figured that out for myself uh, I didn't uh, necessarily need to uh, to do that anymore so I started painting more like what I do now